in this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode one, chapter one, part one of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This was a two episode premiere on Disney Plus on May 27, 2022. And I'm very excited about this because I was waiting for this when I first heard it was announced. I got I had my Star Wars shirt on. I'm ready to go. And let me tell you, this was a really, really fun to watch. Now, this takes place 10 years after the events of Revenge of the Sith. Now, what I did enjoy and what I did like is that we get a prequel trilogy recap of episodes 1, 2, and 3 at the beginning of this first episode of all the events that happened up until now. It's really, really done well. And the way we start is that the Sith Inquisitors, basically Darth Vader sets up this Sith Inquisitors to go after the last remaining Jedi and to hunt down any Jedi who survived Order 66. Uh, it's great, it's fantastic. Not only that, Obi-Wan is in hiding. You know, after the events of what happened and he's haunted by it, he has these dreams. We get archival footage of Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon Jinn. We get archival footage of Darth Maul. It's a fantastic episode that, you know, people might say, oh, it's slow going, it's this and that. No, it's not that at all. We see the return of Jimmy Smith as Senator Bail Organa. We see a young Princess Leia. The actress who plays her is phenomenal, cute and really funny and hilarious and quick-witted and so sarcastic. It's really, really done really well. We see Luke Skywalker from afar and we see his uncle, Uncle Owen, played by Joel Edgerton, up close as he confronts Obi-Wan. Uh, it's great, but the Sith Inquisitors are out there just to look for remaining Jedi. But this one Inquisitor, the third sister, Reva, is out to get Obi-Wan Kenobi and it's really annoying. Her character is just annoying at times because she's not listening to her master, the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor is great. It's great to see him in live action form and it's really, really fun. This episode was interesting. I mean, if people aren't, you know, following the Star Wars lore or the aspect of the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy or the sequel trilogy, and if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to know what happens in 1, 2, and 3, just watch Obi-Wan Kenobi. The entire prequel trilogy is recapped in the first 5, 10 minutes of the opening sequence, like I said. And it's really done really, really well. It's perfectly lined up. The editing is great. The score by John Williams is phenomenal. When you hear that score come up, it's just, oh, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The visual effects are great, uh, are fun, the action is great. There is not much action in the very first episode because it's, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi day by day just lives that whole life repeat over and over again. Goes to work, comes home, goes to see Luke, make sure he's alive, make sure he's safe and everything. And it's really, really interesting. At the end of this episode, something happens to Leia and it starts the chain of events of what's going to happen in the next episode, episode two, part two. Oh, and not only that, Anthony Daniels reprises his role as C-3PO. There's a quick image like, wait, is that C-3PO? Yes, it is C-3PO. Uh, this is fun, it's great, and you know, hey, I mean, Darth Vader is mentioned, Lord Vader is mentioned, and it's just like, oh, okay, when is he gonna show up? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode one, part one of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think is going to happen now in the rest of this series? And it's going to be interesting. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens next, especially with Vader and Obi-Wan meeting face to face 10 years later. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So let me know in the comment section below about the questions I just asked and what did you think about the whole recap in the beginning of this episode of episodes 1, 2, and 3, the prequel trilogy. And I'll see you guys in the next review video and be sure you tune in to my episode 2, part 2 review of Obi-Wan Kenobi right here.